And even if I would tell you what's inside of this flight case, I mean, ah, no way in the world you're gonna believe it. And there it is. I don't know if you can tell from the excitement here, but it's like the actual physical pressure here is building up. I'm trying to show it to you from here without having it fall out. I thought I knew what I was expecting, but that was just not the case here. I mean, the bar just got raised even higher. Leica just announced their all new model Q3, featuring their groundbreaking 179 megapixel OctaQ squared sensor, and you won't believe the punch it packs. Not only does it deliver the stunning colors we all know Leica from, but the optics are literally almost at the border of breaking physics, right here. Built into the frame is a 10 to 400 mm full frame equivalent lens that allows you to get that super wide vlog style and punch in for when you really need that zoom. I was messaging my editor whilst uh, testing it out and he asked me, uh, hey, as it's uh, having the max aperture of f0.95, how much bokeh can you get with it? Uh, bokeh being the blur of the background. Well, my reply was, all of it. The visual style and elegant appearance is in a class of its own, obviously, and it boasts that true authentic vintage vibe that's just perfected by time. Uh, not even Fuji comes close to this level of detail. Now you might also notice the lack of a flip out screen or <laughs> its actual lack of any type of screen. Um, that's because it's an offset optical viewfinder only camera. Wherein lies the main advantage that it'll bring you closer to the true fine art of photography. Their patented true focus is fingertip adjusted and thereby you are in full control. Now looking through here you might already feel the difference in the aspect ratio, as other brands which also have a square aspect ratio are using a typical 1 to 1 ratio. Leica just doubled that by introducing the first ever 2 to 2 aspect ratio, with the results being that it, the images are more alive than ever before. Now some of you might already be asking me that will it replace the main A-roll camera? I'm recording this with the prototype RED 12K, which I bought from eBay. To which the answer is... I don't know yet. Maybe. Launch price still largely unknown, but as of today, it's officially announced, and it'll be available for purchase on April Fools next year. For more videos on the stuff I do, you might be interested in this video over here. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button down there, as it really helps this channel grow, and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for riding fences with me today, and I'll catch you next time. See ya!